So I want to take out time to explain the difference between parallel execution and sequential execution. So take for instance, this is an an anything workflow that does normal parallel execution. By default, anything does parallel execution. By parallel execution, I mean it runs each workflow. If the items coming out from this is like 50, to so run this 50, go here, run this 50, 50, and 50, right? So the disadvantage of that sometimes could be, take for instance, if I had a chat GPT model here, and it's sending 50 requests in less than a minute to chat GPT, we would obviously be rate limited, right? That is where sequential execution comes in. But let me run this flow, this, the both flow for you so that you can clearly see the difference. So in this Google Sheet, I just want to update the first name and the date added. So I'll run the parallel execution first and you see it would attempt to fill these rows at almost the same time. So we would use the date added to check that. So the first one, I'm reading that Google Sheet, right? And let me see the filter I applied to it to be sure of how many records. Okay, it's empty. Okay, so it's going to write. It's just writing um, using the row number to update. Yes, test and date added. So this is the first flow. Let me test it. So this is the parallel execution. You see, it runs 111 items at a go. Right. We come to our our database and so we come to our google sheets and we see everything was updated at the same time <laughs> this is dangerous in a way if we had a chat gpt model here or a cloud model model in any of these steps we would have been rate limited and this would have errored out this would error out trying to process 111 items in in less than a minute on chat gpt this is definitely going to error out right so for things that when we have like APIs involved, like we don't want to be rate limited, that is when we move to sequential execution. Sequential execution, you wouldn't see a lot of flows use it, but it is very important. It uses a loop over items. So let me quickly clear this out to run the same test. I just want to clear it out so it can be able to read the records properly. Okay because of the filter conditions so this is sequential execution it reads the google sheets same flows reads the google sheets it does my any filtering i want to do same but the difference is this loop over that is the only difference between this and this and you see where it makes a difference right the different the difference is the loop over after the filter so i want to loop over the updates so let's just assume this was a chat gpt model i would loop over this so the wait time, I can now add a wait time of two seconds. So it's wait two seconds before sending the next request. So we would monitor that now. So let's just run this also. I think I've, I've put all the flow to get that. Yeah. So also the batch size is one. If I wanted this to go a bit faster, I could put a batch size of like maybe 10 or 20, which would mean instead of doing this one by one it would batch over it if i put 10 it will try to process 10 at the same time so if my api can take 10 at the same go then i do it that way just to make things faster but for now let me just test it with just one so it's going to loop over this maybe 100 times but it's going to wait some seconds so if it was an api here we wouldn't be rate limited so let's test that flow you can see it took one item it waited two seconds took the second item waited two seconds continues over and over so when we go here you see there's a two seconds delay while sending requests to our google sheets so this sequential execution is very very important when we are trying to avoid rate limiting with apis so this is just what i wanted to show you and i think that does it so you can see it is not all added at the same time. It is taking some two seconds to add or three seconds to add, which is very useful. So you really need to know how to do sequential execution in ND10. It's going to save you a lot of rate limiting problems with API. So yeah, that is what I wanted to explain today. Yeah, thank you.